universe theory. Uh, and could that be a possible cause of our universe? And does the multiverse generator require the same level of fine tuning? Do you all know what multiverses are? Who doesn't know what a multiverse is? Hands up. Right. A multiverse is the idea that this isn't the only universe. And it's usually said that there is an infinite number of universes, which many pure mathematicians might wonder, is that meaningful? Is there such a thing as an infinite number of real objects? Now, if you can't sleep tonight, you can think about that. But we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll just leave that aside. The idea that there's an infinite number of universes in which anything that can happen does happen. So there's a universe in which you're sitting listening to me at this lecture. There's another one in which an identical copy of you is sunning themselves in Barbados, you see. And the idea is, it was proposed, I think, originally by Max Tegmark, a professor of physics at Princeton, and he says either there's a creator or a multiverse. And that shows you some of the motivation on the part of some of the scientists that go in this direction. The idea is that because we see this universe so finely tuned, that is the constants, basic constants, have to be tuned to an incredible degree to allow even the possibility of carbon-based life. The improbability is so large that we've got to reduce it. And how do you reduce improbability? By having as many universes as you want. And so it becomes an argument against God. But philosophically,